So, can we talk? Sure. Hey everybody, uh, sorry for the late percentages this week, um, we were gonna record at our usual time, I woke up, had a horrific headache, and then schedules just haven't matched up the last couple days, so, it's just Eli and I, and we're gonna see how this one goes, cause, we live together, we don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, I... I can't ask Max how how their week was to start off a conversation about that. So, how was your week? It was okay. I did some stuff. I went to, like, my job, my first job thing, and it lasted two hours. So, I got a hearing test. My hearing is good. I still don't understand how that's possible, but... We'll I don't that. either. I, I was really thinking that my hearing was going to be messed up, but apparently I'm within normal range. So I could be on the very low end of normal range. But, yeah. I still don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know. I don't know, this has been a very kind of weird, slow week. We played some video games. We did. We played some really good video games. Yeah, but that's more backlog. Which, we're, we're gonna record tomorrow. I swear, last week just did not work. It was a very hectic week, and there was shit I wanted to talk about, but I, we'll, we'll talk about it on, uh, on backlog. Also, I need to go do a bunch of work for that today, before tomorrow, so I should <laughs> probably get that done. Uh... Yeah, outside of that, I don't know. Nothing really has been... Uh, Mad Max came out, and we still haven't seen it, so we can't talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to see it this weekend. Do you want to talk about Iron Skies? Oh, God. I was only... I was, like... I feel bad because I was only paying attention for part of that movie. So I... Um... I... It's... Oh, that's his back. Yeah, okay, so... I thought that was a picture of, of... of Okay, explain. So, I was just scrolling through Tumblr, just while Eli was talking, and I just come across a Daily Mirror article. I don't know from when, but it just says, Boy becomes a living magnet after getting massive electric shock from Street Lamp. And it's just a screenshot, so I can't go to the article. But it is a chubby boy with just metal stuck all over him. Like, his forehead, all over his back, his stomach. My only thing with this is, he could just be sweaty. That's true. That, <laughs> he that could is literally true. just be sweaty. Um, yeah, I... That just kind of stopped Eli in their tracks, though, because it well, was just I a thought, strange I mean, I thing to see. I thought the picture of his back was his butt. I could see that, yeah. And I, I was like, that. why is there a picture on your dash of spoons stuck to someone's butt? It's Tumblr. It's, is wouldn't... that some sort of weird porn thing? No, you're the one with all the porn. There's, like, no porn on my dash right now. I probably... Yeah, because all the people who, are po who post porn aren't posting right now. They're all Okay, asleep. here's my dash. No porn. That no is porn right there in your recommended blogs. Okay, no it's... What's that my is, recommended blogs? That doesn't count. It's porn on the dash. No porn, no porn, no porn, no porn. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's cute. They put ice cream cones on top of a cake and then put the ice cream in the cones. So cute. No porn. Nothing, nothing, nothing. See? You don't follow your own porn blog. Uh, Why would I follow my own porn blog? Well, obviously you like the porn. Oh man, this is already turning out to be a great episode. Uh, yeah, no, we, okay, so we watched a movie and we're considering doing a 
there's a lot of other podcasts that do this, and we kind of want to get on in on it because it's fun. We, Eli and I both love awful movies, and so I got a Netflix account made and set up one profile on it that is specifically for watching awful movies for this podcast. We may break it out into another podcast. I'm not sure, but for now, it's just going to be part of percentages because it's just us. So we need something to talk about. Uh, we watched Iron Skies, director's cut. I have seen Iron Skies before we watched this, but I'd never seen the director's cut. Eli didn't even know what it was. Now, for those who don't know what it is, it is a movie about a black supermodel who goes to the moon with his cameraman to take some shots. Porn! And... That's where cats, as, I don't know what you're talking about. As they're setting up to do the photo shoot, a Nazi shoots his cameraman and takes him hostage. Come to find out there is a massive Nazi base that has been living on the moon since World War II. Proceed with the supermodel who is, uh, what was his name, uh, James? No, George, no. It was something Washington. Yeah, it was like Jefferson Washington. Was it? Something like that. Uh, I don't remember. The The supermodel is like questioned, tortured for information, and then the Albert Einstein looking uh, scientist turns him white with an albinism formula. And then he has, like, involuntary, like, sig heils and stuff. And it's very, very, very strange. But the thing about it is, the show never gets, like... Or the, the movie never gets, like, racist or anti-Semitic. It's just Nazis. Like... <laughs> It's not racist or well, anti-Semitic. No, no, like, it's just Nazis. Well, okay, but you I know what I mean. What like, you're saying. they're not blatantly running around talking about killing Jews or anybody. No, it's just people who wear swastikas, mm-hmm. which is shitty in its own right. But well, and there's like a little bit about how, about like you know, uh, maintaining purity in the vein pool and stuff like that. But yeah, they. Did a good job of just keeping it, like, ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, more... Instead of... More ridiculous, I guess, if there's any way you could make... James Washington. It was James Washington. It was James. That was right. Uh, If there's any way to make a movie about Nazis comedic, they found the way. Mm Mm-hmm. So, essentially, two Nazis come down to Earth, and they've never been to Earth before. One of them is, uh... Uh, is her is her name Renee, Renoir, something like Renata. that. Renata, Renata Richter, and the other one is Klaus Adler. And so they come down to Earth with James Washington, who says that he can get them to see the president. Uh, he proceeds to run away as soon as they get back down to Earth. He doesn't know he's white until an interaction with some other people. And they call him Whitey. And then he freaks out. Um, But they go and see the president's PR manager? I think that's who it was. Uh, The president of the United States is just the president of the United States. They never say her name. Mm -hmm. So the president's PR manager is... Like, ends up half falling in love with Klaus... A lot of just bullshit happens. They, like, start this whole, like, essentially a new Nazi regime with the President of the United States, who is Sarah Palin. Um, Just Sarah Palin. Like, she's just straight up Sarah Palin without ever naming her. Um, And so she... They end up doing, like, this new Nazi regime of... Again... Like, no racism or anything, no anti-Semitism, they don't add any of that in, they never, like, have that in any of the propaganda, 
but it's just like a united world, a new world order and all this other shit. And then at one point they're just like, oh, you're actual Nazis because the, the Nazi Fuhrer from the moon comes down and tries to kill Klaus. That's after, no, is that after the, the asteroids and the zeppelins? Oh, no, 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 that's long before. That's, I, I, see, no, I lost track of no, what was that, happening when. All that happens after Klaus goes back to the moon and becomes the new Fuhrer. Oh, see, I think so, I missed part of it. So, the Fuhrer and some guards come down, and they're about to execute the president's PR lady and Klaus and everybody, and Renata and everyone, and, uh, <laughs> and they're like, hey, I, I, what did she do? She said something about, um... She offered the the guy who was about to execute her in the back room, like, a last blowjob. Yeah, because well, after he died, that's what, she was like, oh, he fell for the one last blowjob trick. Yeah, and like then that. she comes out and shoots a bunch of people, and then, um, they all, they all run away. Klaus is about to get back to the moon, and the Fuhrer comes out, and he shoots him dead, and, or, and no, 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 he didn't even shoot him. He just kicked him in the head. Like, he just kicked him in the head, and the guy fell over dead. Oh, God. And so, Klaus goes back to the moon, becomes the new Fuhrer, and is like, okay, now we're gonna fuck up the Earth. And then, giant space zeppelins, and then it turns out that the U.S. had weaponized a, 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 like, space station, and it was an actual ship. And then it turns out that everybody but, I think, Finland weaponized their, um weaponized their space stations that they had been building and stuff all secretly because it was in a treaty that they weren't supposed to so then there's a giant space battle between space stations and nazi blimps and then the entire nazi base lifts off of the moon and it's just this gigantic like i I would say that thing was probably like a tenth of the moon's size it was huge yeah looked kind of like the millennium falcon yeah, except with a giant swastika on it. Um, and then they end up... Dick James Washington went back to the moon, too. It was so confusing and weird. James Washington goes back to the moon. Everybody's on the moon. And he brings down the ship and finds an anti-Alvinism formula. Because um, he's trapped up there, along yeah. with Renata and some of the people. Renata kills Adler. Uh, that was probably my favorite scene. Yeah, well, she gets him to fucking sig heil his hand into a broken light socket and then puts a stiletto heel through his forehead. That's how she kills him. It was beautiful. It it was um it was something. Oh, the president's PR lady. I forgot about that. The president's PR lady ends up, uh... Oh, I should probably say that we're gonna spoil the fuck out of this movie. Um, (laughs) we've gone through, like, like, almost the entire movie. Uh, the president's PR lady was the ship commander of, somehow she got to space, uh, of the U.S. space station that was fighting. I didn't even know that happened. Yeah, that... That, See, that's the part I missed, because... She was the one with the big feathers coming out of her back. Yeah, I saw her in that outfit, but I never saw her in the spaceship. Yeah. She, apparently that's what you wear when you're going to go captain a spaceship. Apparently. Um, but yeah, they end up, like, and then everybody gets mad because they find out there's a bunch of helium-3 on the moon, and the U.S. tries to claim it, and then it starts a nuclear war that, it like, wipes out the entire planet, and pretty much only the now former Nazis on the moon are safe and okay. <laughs> It's so weird. It's such a weird movie, but the the big my biggest problem with it is it looked good. See, I don't think that was a problem because obviously they were making a movie to be a ridiculous Oh, it was movie. supposed to be stupid and ridiculous. And yeah. the fact that it looked great just made it more enjoyable. I like, guess, yeah. It was just it looked like the movie itself looked good, which is just like I like, the last scene where you're slowly, like, 
panning back from the earth and all the lights are going out in all the cities across the planet. Like, it looked great. Yeah, I just... It, it looked really good. Like, the, the effects were really well done. They didn't look near, like, even half as bad as some modern movies I've seen. Fucking, we watched Noah as well. That movie was a piece of shit. Noah was awful, and the effects in Noah looked a thousand times worse than the effects in this little, like, shitty movie from 2012. Yeah, also there's way too much creepy incest in Noah. Oh god, that was such a bad movie. It was Ugh. awful. I try not to think about it. But yeah, I don't even know, like, I've never heard of, uh, of the director for this. Um, it's, a uh, Timo Vorensola? I don't even know how to fucking say that. But nobody in the movie was anybody I recognized, like, it was a very kind of, like, indie type thing. Like, lower budget and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. it still looked really good. For be Yeah, for being a low budget movie, it looked amazing. Yeah, I'm looking up the uh, the budget right now. Uh, Iron Sky. The lifetime gross was only 122000 in theaters. The budget was n is N.A. It made $8 million for him. 98.5% of its its gross was made foreign. Wow. And they released a DVD and a Blu-ray. Huh. Huh. It was only it was only out in eight theaters though. That's actually not terrible for being in eight theaters. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> good for them. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was a it was a really good movie. We'll try to take notes and actually like. Yeah, like I would actually uh, have to sit down and like watch it all the way through. Yeah, we'd have because we'll, we'll I was I was in and out when I was watching it when it was on last time because when I like I like to watch shitty movies and usually I just put them on while I'm doing something else. Yeah, because I don't because I know they're not gonna pay, make sense anyway, so I don't really have to pay attention. I can just look over and be like, "What the fuck is happening now?" Yeah, and Why does I... that man have a shoe coming out of his head? <laughs> well, next time we'll actually, like, watch a shitty movie and take mm -hmm. notes. I've got a shit ton on Netflix. Um, so we'll we'll do that next time. Uh, I guess we could do updates for SSP and actually talk about stuff True. that we've been doing. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing? I did a major overhaul of uh, the um, of the Patreon page and set up new like actual goals and rewards and everything. Um, I also have just been recording a lot. I wrote a little bit, but not really a ton. I don't expect the next hunted out anytime soon. At least not for another month. Um... Hi, Train. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I I feel like I haven't done much, but I know if I really looked back on it and, like, sat down and went through all the shit I've done in the last week, I've probably done a decent amount, like, considering I also work and try to have a life. Yeah. Um, we've just been kind of... I, I have been going through Monster Cat's catalog of music because we licensed that, so... That's another thing that I've been trying to take care of has been getting, going through that and finding music that we can use for stuff. Um, yeah, the main thing I did was overhaul the Patreon, which I've been trying to get everybody to help me do for how long? Like a month and a half? And I finally just sat down and did it myself. Because nobody ever wants to help me. I just I just didn't know what to suggest because I am not r super familiar with Patreon. I'm pretty new to it and I don't really know what um what people want to see. I so, don't either. I have no idea what anybody wants to see. Which if is you the know issue. what you want to see, please tell us. 
Yeah, if you know, like, if there's something you want us to do, like, add on, like, if you want us to add a goal in or, or add in a, uh, some type of reward or something, or you want to see us do something new or change the way something's done, please let us know. There's a billion ways to contact us. I mean, besides Twitter, I'll have, I'll, actually, you know what? Before I go to bed today, I will edit this and I will make a contact page with every way to contact us on the site. So, yeah, I'll put that in a footer, I guess. I don't know. I'll put. I'll link it somewhere on yeah. the site. Um, because we want to know what you want. Yeah, we like making shit. We want to make things that other people like too, so. Uh, I guess the other thing is... Um, I am working on a new podcast that I'm going to start. It's going to be a solo podcast. Actually, it's reviving an old podcast um, called Progress Bar. And there I will be talking about stuff I'm working on. So if you have questions about Dead or The Hunted or something, uh, send them to me via one of the places to contact us, which will be on the page I will set up. Uh, oh, I also made a subreddit for Spider Squid Productions and for Recurring Vs, so everything we do goes up there, and I lurk on, I lurk on Reddit all the time, so I'll see anything that gets posted there, um, and honestly, that might be the easiest way to contact me besides Twitter. Uh, but yeah, I want to know what people, like, if anybody wants to know something for... Um, about The Hunted or about Dead or any of the other shit that we do, just toss me a message somewhere and I will answer it because that's pretty much what that podcast is going to be about. It's just going to be a Q&A. So if I have enough questions, I'll do it. If I don't, I won't. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, there was something else that I that I actually had thought about earlier that I wanted to talk about, and now I don't know. Shit. Um, it had something to do with the Patreon. Um. I don't remember now. Uh. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I will. I will figure that out and try to say it later. So yeah, we um. We're also going to, I don't know, like, I kind of want to restructure some things in terms of podcast stuff. Like, I know Backlog is going to be a completely restructured thing tomorrow. Um, and I would like to kind of figure out what to do with percentages, because I still don't know what the fuck to do with this show. Um... I know that Rupert, who was on our last episode, had said, uh, when I asked on... Well, he gave me an actual answer to the question I asked in that one, which was, what does he want to see us do with this? And he said he wants to hear more about what we're working on. So, I guess, I mean, that's what Progress Out Bar will be for me, but I know you guys have some stuff you're doing. And if you'd stop playing Flight Rising for a little bit, you might actually be present for the recording. I was letting you finish what you were doing. Uh-huh. I can do two things at once. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I live with you. I know you can't. I haven't been up to much lately, um, because I am starting a new job, and I've just been really stressed all the time. So, uh, there was a project that me and Van were working on. I'm not really sure what's happening with it right now. But I would, um, I would like to keep working on that. And, uh, as always, I should be writing shit, but I don't. Yeah, so, you should. I've got some old short stories and stuff that I suppose I could clean up, and that would be less intimidating than starting something from scratch. Right. Uh, Why don't you clean them up and you can post them up on the site? They're not very good. Who gives a fuck? Have you seen my writing? Oh my god. I posted, like, 100% unedited, unthought out shit for Hunted at first. I then went back, and of course, after, I think, chapter 3, I went back and re-recorded everything and edited it all and changed some things. 
But you should have seen the original Haunted. It was atrocious. Just post your shit up. If people All like right. it, they'll like it. All right. I'll do that tonight. I won't. I probably won't post it tonight, but I'll look the stuff over tonight. Oh, now yeah. Now I have to do it. Because yep, you I said, said it on the podcast. I, I think I have at least three stories, three short stories that I know I can, um, can fix up. Maybe more. I don't know. I haven't dug through my documents for a while. Yeah, I, uh, I actually think I might. I know I I know it's on the I know it's on the Patreon goals, but I think I might at least start working on it more. Um, Tales from the Ship I might start working on. I need to talk I need to talk to Seiji about that because uh, we have that's going to be something that we work on together, and I need to talk to them about what we're going to do with it. So I know you're listening to this, and uh, hit me up on Skype because we need to talk about that. Um. I'm trying to think of what else. There hasn't really been a ton. I'm kind of reworking the site, so it's... I, I don't really know what to post on the site uh, quite yet. I'm going to kind of rework the front page of it to make it a little bit easier to navigate. Um, oh, that is something else. I am... I, I literally just need to go take some screenshots, polish up the the... Writing and the article on in-game currencies is done. It's like 3,500 words right now, and I'd like to chop that down to 2,000. So I need to go probably chop out an entire game's worth of stuff that I talked about, but that's okay. Um, mainly talk about the systems that are in uh, Guild Wars and uh, ESO compared to, like... Uh, Warframe or WoW or something like different different in-game currency systems and real-world money versus in-game money and how weird it is that people spend so much money on stuff that they can't touch. Um, I should add Hearthstone into that too. I didn't think about that. I have not played Hearthstone since they broke the game for me. So, um, so that'll go up, and I'm gonna try to start writing at least an article a week starting with this one. So this one will go up hopefully on Friday, and I'm going to try, not promising, but I'm going to try to start getting an article up on Video Garms every Friday. Because uh, those are a lot easier to write than, um, than stuff like Hunted or something, where I've got to be in a different place mentally to, to write it. So... I will attempt to do that. I, again, make no promises. Uh, what else? I, there was something else we were going to... Uh, well, we already talked about backlog. If we ever want someone to write critical analysis of the appearances of gold in Beowulf, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I still love you. <laughs> um, oh, what the fuck was up with that toy you showed me earlier? Oh my god, the fucking... Okay, so I went to Toys R Us, and I found um, Kitty Surprise Plush. You're going to have to send me these links so I can link them in the show Kitty, notes. Kitty Surprise Plush. There's three thing is different... is fucking horrifying. There's three different... Apparently this is a toy from the 90s that has just been re-released. It is fucking horrifying. Um, I am not happy to be a 90s kid. I did not have any toys in the 90s, so... Yeah, you also lived on, like, a weird compound where you weren't allowed to leave until you were 18. Yeah, that, so. that, maybe that's why I collect toys now, is because I didn't have any when I was young. You I didn't had a, have any friends when you were young. Yeah, that's true. You I didn't had, have human I, I had interaction. Some, I had some toys. I, I had sheep and You cows. didn't have human interaction. Good job. Oh, Breaking I almost shit. killed that. Um, no, so what, what the Kitty Surprise plush is, is it's a plush cat with a molded plastic face. And the face is horrifying. And apparently it has a pouch in its stomach where you can reach inside and remove its kittens. Now, if that wasn't bad enough... <laughs> 
It also looks utterly horrifying. Like something out of a nightmare anime. Its kittens don't look that great either. No. I think I think that one in the picture is emerging from the womb. That is terrifying. It is. Oh my god. Okay, so yes, you need to send me this, the link to this, because people need to be horrified by this. They need to see what the fuck we're looking at. I, I have to say, having actually witnessed a cat give birth, I, this is far more horrifying. I had a cat give birth in my office in Utah. Like, birth is a magical thing. No. That's, like, really gross. Yeah. And weird. Yeah. This is, this is worse. Yeah. This is worse. Like, I... We got a stray cat. Like, my ex got a stray cat. And... It got... Out and got pregnant. (laughs) Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't the stray we got. That was, uh... The stray we got just ran away one day. Um... She lived with us for long enough, and she's like, Nope, I'm gone, bye. They tend to do that. I've had a couple Uh, stray cats do that. No, we got a cat from one of my co-workers at the time and she broke through the screen in our bedroom got out got pregnant and yeah cats and heat will do a lot well we found the dad <laughs> uh he was a stray that lived near us actually but she ended up we were just like okay well we'll keep her till she has the kittens we'll give the kittens away we ended up getting rid of her and all but one of her kittens and Fucking, the cat, for some reason, took up residence in my office and did not leave it. (laughs) And she had birth in my office under my desk. So that was awesome. Never could get the stains completely cleaned up. It's messy. It's gross. And that cat is more horrifying than what I witnessed in my office. It's way more horrifying. I don't know, I've never been weirded out by, like, childbirth, but that's probably because I helped deliver animals when I was really small. So, it was just, it was just a thing that happened, and it was, you know, you just cleaned up afterwards, and then you had babies. But, the creepiest thing to me is that you, you, you reach in there. Yeah. You, you, you reach inside and pull the kittens out. You you rip kittens from it. It's it's a it's a kitten cesarean. Like, that's like, not how that's not how that should happen. It's a kitty cesarean. That's what it is. It's horrifying. And then the other toy you found though. Yeah, the other toy I found is a giant is John a 31 Cena. Thirty-one inch John Cena action figure. <gasps> Almost a three feet tall. Action and it's figure. that weird like rubbery yeah. thing. So it's like sort of flesh-like, but not. Well, they gave him a bulge too, which is really just not. Oh, the picture here the, the child's face is... The child looks like he got hit in the face with a brick <laughs> earlier that day. Like, he isn't bruised or anything, but like it looks like his jaw is slightly like Wait, out of alignment. Is that? What? I don't know, his arm looks weird there. Yeah. I don't know. It's a... It's a thing. It sure is a thing that we're looking at. I mean, I don't know why the fuck you were at Toys R Us, but it's not... Why do these toys exist? We didn't have these toys back in my day. I went to... Okay, I went to Toys R Us to get a Monster High doll. Of course you did. Because I like them. And I loosely collect them. But... No, I came around the corner and there's just this almost three foot tall, like there's four of them in a row on the shelf. It's like three foot tall John Cena figure and I was terrified. I thought it was some sort of strange child standing on the shelf. Yeah, I... That's like, it's almost three feet tall. That is a child size. This is a child sized action figure. I think that kid is as tall as the thing. It's just, it's on a table, so it it looks like he might be taller. You can't tell. The, the picture they have here on the site the, makes the figure look smaller yeah, than it like, actually it, does. It's... Because I took a picture with Van next to it, and it's like, it comes up past their waist. 
it's freaking huge. And it's horrifying. Like, it's not, it's not like a horrifying toy. It's, well, that kid really looks just, he that is just. That kid does not look okay. No. <laughs> that kid does not look okay. I just don't get why they added the bulge to the. Well, he's got nipples too. Yeah, he's got nips and a bulge on this child's action figure. Like. What's up with that? Like that is that is a that is a noticeable bulge there. Like it's he's packing something. Life. I guess I don't fucking know. Why do we need bulges on children's toys? I don't understand. He could be a Ken doll. It's okay. Although I'm I'm back looking at the cat and oh my god, that's horrifying. They have a they have a line of of uh, puppy surprise too. Oh god, why? There's no reason for that. Like I don't, I don't know, and like I wish I could see my. I have a, the pictures are on my phone, and my phone is dead as a doornail. But I took a picture of the I did, of like the description on the back of the packaging, and it was it was terrible. Like even on the front of the of the package, it's like mommy is having kittens. Guess how many? That's. Some are twins. How many girls? How many boys? How would you tell? I don't want to know. One of them has one of them has a blue ribbon. That's how you tell. Okay. That's how I when when the kittens were born at my house. That's how I could tell. No, oh, really. Yes, like they the, were the born girl, with a blue ribbon. The girls on? had pink ribbons and the boys had blue ribbons. Yeah. They were just born with them. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, you had to be careful that they, that they didn't get caught on anything because they would strangle themselves. Ah, I yeah. see. We're... That's how all animals are born that way. What the fuck are we talking about? I. What the fuck are we talking about right now? What are we doing with our lives? We're sitting on a couch with a mic, with a, a floating orb in front of us, speaking into it, talking about these stupid cats. What are we doing? What do we even do? I don't know. I don't oh, know. God, I'm gonna have an existential crisis because of shitty cat toys. Oh man. We could be doing worse. I guess. I mean, we could be... No, hookers and blow sounds better. I mean... We could be accountants. Well, then we'd have money. Yeah, accountants typically Damn. have money. Like... Why didn't I go to... Why didn't I stay in school? <laughs> Why didn't I go to school? <laughs> I didn't go to school either until I get to high school, You so. still went to school more That's than true. me. I didn't... I technically haven't finished high school, so you win. Oh, Oh, God. Stay in school, kids. Don't, don't fuck your life up like I have. Don't, don't do it, kids. Don't fuck your life up. I am, I am a less than high school graduate attempting to somehow live. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh... I don't know. Uh. Oh, there's a whole section of electronic pets. I'm good, thank. Cool. Meet your new best friend. Oh, God, there's a monkey. No. Nope. Okay, no, that is more <laughs> horrifying than a Furby. Get that off the screen. <laughs> Okay, I'll take the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are, are cool. Hundred dollars? Fuck that. They're real, Toys they, are so expensive they now. They respond to your voice. Give that kid a fucking piece of bark. <laughs> <laughs> it's nutritious. Oh, Gabby, the sad thing is, is I played with bark as a kid. <laughs> It's nutritious, and a kid will make a hundred toys out of that shit. You turn it over, and there'd be the little worm squiggles, you know, because the worms yes. would get underneath it, and we would, I would pretend it was like an ancient scroll. You're a nerd. And I'd be like, oh, this is leading me to, like, whatever I was being, like, a dungeon or some shit. <laughs> oh, yes. Parenting tip. Give your child a piece of bark. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one, it's nutritious. Mm -hmm. They can sit and gnaw on it for days. Fiber is good. Eat lots of fiber, it'll keep them they regular. Can't even, you can't even digest the cellulose, so it's not like that's added calories. Yeah. And then on top of that... Unless I mean, your child is a termite. Well, yeah, but if your child is a termite, termites you've listen got to our podcast. Some, well, but I mean, it could be like Octodad, where 
you know, sometimes just... How did that octopus have human children? Maybe a person has, like, a, a, a termite child. I mean, maybe it's a cow and chicken thing. Like, there are things that are just unexplained in this world. That's and... true. There are, t- truly, miracles do happen. Okay, again, what the fuck are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep it going, but at the same time, I'm confused by what we're saying. Uh god okay um no you were talking about the 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 point the pros of giving a piece of bark to a child for a toy oh well yeah i mean like you can have aside from the nutrition i well like you said it could be like an ancient scroll oh shut your mouth an ancient scroll or this toy is a saint bernard be... face that is just vomited i what the fuck <laughs> Um, okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you again, but I... This is literally a plastic St. Bernard head covered in vomit and snot. Yeah. Okay, you realize you have to link all of this to me, Yeah, I I have the, um... Okay. The shit here, I'm gonna... The gross electronic pup pet. I don't understand. New dogs even uglier. Make funny sounds. That's horrifying. No. I do not like this. I do not like this. Oh god, there's pugs. Ugh. No, I'm going away now. I'm- nope, nope, not dealing with that. That is... I'm not okay with any of this. Why would you give your- here, here! What's a kid name? Johnny? Johnny? Is that a kid name? Do people name their kids Johnny? I don't fucking know. (laughs) Here, Johnny. Have this vomit-covered, disembodied, canine head. Okay, you told me about somebody giving their girlfriend a fucking crocodile with a ring on it to propose. That made me angry. I will not put anything past white people. He, He tied the ring with a ribbon to a baby crocodile and proposed with it. Now that's just, that's cruel. What are you gonna do with that crocodile? I don't fucking know. I mean, of course it happened in Florida, so they could just release it. But still, that's, where did you get that crocodile from? Did you just go out and catch it? Probably. I mean, are we really gonna talk about, like, No, like, that's a thing. I mean, baby crocodiles are real cute, but... Don't propose to me with a crocodile. That's just weird. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, fucking... Man, we have gone on some tangents today. Uh... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There was something I had thought about when you started talking about that gross-ass dog. Yeah. Um... I want to start building Gundams again. Oh, yeah, because I mentioned model airplanes. Yeah, and I used to build... I just searched Gundam and I meant to go to Amazon. <laughs> um, I used to go... I used to build Gundam models back when I was a little kid. I had, like, 30 of them. And I think the newest Gundam series that was, like, out in the U.S. was, like... Fuck, what was the one that was, like, the battle, and there was, like, the ace, and, uh, G Gundam, I think it was? I am not familiar with them at all. I think it was G Gundam. Mobile Fighter G Gundam, yes! That was, that was the one that was on when I was a kid that I started watching. Like, I didn't start with that. I started with what most American kids started with. I started with, uh, Gundam Wing. And I had the Endless Waltz, um, Death Scythe, and Heavy Arms. Oh, no, no, I had Heavy Arms Custom. That's what it was. Uh, no, it was, it was the Endless Waltz Heavy Arms Custom. Yeah, they were, I had, like, I had probably about 40 of them. I had a shit ton from all the way back to, like, the original Gundam all the way through, uh, G Gundam. And I used to build them all the time. They were the thing I did as a kid. And that's actually what got me into um, prop making and, uh, um, what you call it? Uh, cosplay? Into cosplay stuff. Yeah. Like, was building models and customizing those. Like, 
putting in weathering and battle damage and stuff on on all these models and stuff and then i started getting uh i started getting into prop making at, when i was a lot older um and then that got me into like building model pistols and stuff i don't have any of my tools or else i would still do that because hey that was fun and i was pretty decent at it um but yeah i I don't know. I really want to get back into building model Gundams because that was a fun time. So you, like, yeah, you started this. You're the reason now. Because I hadn't thought about building Gundams in years. And you mentioned that, and now I can't help but think about it. So blame yourself. Blame yourself. I'm not blaming myself. You are a, an autonomous human being and can do whatever you want with your life. Oh my god, I'm just looking. I'm looking at all the ones from Gundam Wing right now. I used to have this one. And is that my Heavy Arms custom? Oh my god, my life is over. I'm gonna have like 800 Gundam models. Yes, this is the uh, this is the Endless Waltz Heavy Arms custom. It's only 1720. I might order it. It's only, only via import from Japan right now. Only one left in stock. D don't look at me. Oh no. Don't look at me. Oh no, you might be hearing me about to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last thing that was bought like on the show was me ordering cherry shrimp. Yeah. So, oh, you might be hearing me buy this right this is, now. This is just going to devolve into into a show where we buy things from Amazon. Yes. It's it's not the one I had because the one I had required painting, but this is as close to it as I can get. I think. No, no, no! I found the high grade one. <laughs> one left in stock, fifty four sixty nine. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God! I can't! I can't deal with this right now. Yeah, so if you ever want to get into something that is, one, time-consuming, two, really, 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 like, rewarding, because you start off with just the, this tray of pieces, break it apart, put it together, and then you have something to show for it afterwards. And also, just, did I say expensive? Because it's think, not cheap. Yeah, I think you mentioned that at first. It's not a cheap thing to do. Like, for the good high-end ones, you're looking at, like, 300 to $500 for, like, the really, really, really high-end ones. So, keep that in mind. But if you're looking for something, if you're looking for something to do that's really fun, I used to have this one, too. Oh, it went away. Uh, the, that Scythe Hell version. Um, I used to have this one too. Aww. Epion. But yeah, you should definitely... I had this one too. You should definitely get into building some type of models. Maybe not... Uh, maybe not Gundam, but find models that you like and build them. Because it's really, really, really re rewarding to do. And it feels good. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I think, I think unless you got anything, we should probably wrap up because we should probably go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. The only it's... thing I have is something about 19 kids and counting and there's no real sources on it. Josh so. Duger, underage sex scandal, 19 kids and counting, star allegedly named in police report. Yeah, but be, just being named in a police report doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so there's that's not really... Well, that's what site is that? Inquisitor? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, um, so that's not really worth talking about because there's no sources and there's... Not unless something else pops up about yeah. it. So, yeah, um, I guess if you enjoy us rambling about whatever the fuck we talked about today... Uh, Horrible and... toys, Gundam models... I don't know what we started Cat out with. Cat birthing. Cat um, births, yes. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want to, if you enjoy this stuff and you want to support us, uh, check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash recurringvs. Our website is spidersquareproductions.com. 
Uh, if you'd like to monetarily support us and help us reach some goals and upgrade things and get new hardware and all that good stuff and eventually... So we can buy a kitty surprise. Oh, God, no. For our very um, own. Eventually, maybe we'll start getting, like... Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll start paying ourselves instead of dropping money into this each month. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, I don't know. Like, if just if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash SSP. Uh, that supports Recurring Vs and Spider Score Productions, and that supports all of us who are doing stuff. Um, right now, you and I just started playing uh, Kentucky Route Zero on Revs. Yes! I'm in the middle of... Uh, Singularity. You are. I just started Ocean Horn. And uh, sometime this week, I think you and Van will be recording the new part of Life is Strange that just came out. Yeah, today. that should be happening so- sometime this week. Sometime later this week. Yeah. So look for those probably starting Monday, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I am going to record Guild Wars 2. I recorded one episode today i'm gonna try to record more tomorrow uh gonna try to get banner saga actually recorded it's a good game but man is it a slog sometimes when there are two minute scenes of just walking it's like i i have something to do with my life (laughs) um guild wars is good but we've been having internet issues lately our internet is comcast is just eat a dick like just eat a dick eat a dick casserole Comcast has been having huge issues in the in the Washington area, Western Washington. So, yeah, it's been very frustrating, especially since we finally got our last issue fixed. Yeah, well, and I mean, we ended up um, like I was trying to record Guild Wars yesterday. That's why I stopped because just roaming around the world, I was getting two second latency. Mm-hmm. I. I die before I can even hit the heal button because I don't know I'm taking damage. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's really bad. It, it's really, really, really bad right now. And it's been like this for about six weeks with Comcast. And it pretty has... much everybody on this end of the state is complaining about it. So And there's not really any signs of it improving so far. No, because it's Comcast. Why so. would they? Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, outside of that, just hit us up on Patreon. Our website is Spider Court Productions, Recurring Vs on YouTube. I'm at Recurring Vs on Twitter. Eli is Eli Kisses Rats. Yes, on both Twitter and Tumblr. Oh, yeah, I'm Recurring Vs on Tumblr. Um, I'm on Tumblr. Tumblr, blah, 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 blah. Tumblr. I'm on Tumblr a lot more than you are, though. Yeah, I, I literally just have stuff auto post now. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, reddit.com slash recurring v's or or actually it's reddit.com slash r slash recurring v's and reddit.com slash r slash spider squid uh our email is spider squid productions at gmail.com i still have not fixed that issue with our email uh remind me of that tomorrow please i will i bought post-it notes exactly for things like this thank you i am prepared um if you have suggestions for backer rewards and stuff we would love to hear them or just suggestions for stuff for us to do just like, any suggestions things you want from us to do stuff like that we like, don't know what we're doing if you know what we're doing wait never mind yeah that didn't make sense if you know what we're doing right at this moment i am terrified please go away uh, it's it's normal um yeah i Yeah, outside of that, I don't really know anything right now. And, uh, have a nice night, everybody. Bye.